here is what is the relationship between voltage, current and resistance. That is our main focus in this lesson. How are these three are related? Voltage, as we can see, is symbolized by capital V. Current is symbolized by capital I. Resistance symbolized by capital R. Meaning that V is voltage, I current, R resistance. Since we understood or we know the symbols, we want now to see how those symbols, how those uh, 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 items are going to be used to allow the flow of current in a given conductor. For example, in a copper wire. If this is a copper wire, then you're going to have the flow of current from at one, from starting from one point up to the other point. What happens in this wire? The conducting wire has a resistance to allow the flow of current. Where it's a disturbance. It has to be at a stable point. It has to be stable. But the flow of current will disturb it. So it is going to give us some resistance. Now, how do we drive that current? We should have a starting point, the power supply, the power source, which is known as the voltage. The volt, the power to push the current to pass through the current, the, the, the conductor, which is known as the potential difference. Why? Because at each given point of the conductor, the temperature may be different. So we call it, but the potentiality of the conductor to allow the flow of current will give us the potential difference across that given circuit. And in the end, we have to know now what is the amount of current flowing throughout that given conductor in a circuit. So, we look at what is known as Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Remember, Ohm's was just a scientist who was asking these questions, which became relevant up to now. No wonder we are able to understand the flow of current in our homes. Ohm's law states that the potential difference, which is the voltage, across the, the circuit, is directly proportional to produced current as long as the temperature of the conductor remains constant. So we are saying that as long as the temperature of the conducting wire is constant at each given point, the potential difference, which is the voltage, is directly proportional to the produced current. So we are saying that if voltage if voltage is going to be in, in volts and current measured in amps or in amperes or in capital amps, then resistance will be measured in ohms, which is symbolized by this. Following this statement, this ohms law, therefore we say that the voltage is varying directly to the produced current. If you're going to produce one to produce one volt, then you're going to have one current. Meaning one volt, one amp. Two volts, 
two amps. Three volts, three amps. That's direct proportion. But remember, current is flowing through a conductor, which is having its own temperature. Therefore, it comes to lead us to say, voltage equals current times resistance. And then we say, voltage, using the symbols now, equals current times resistance. We have what is known as the triangular formula. Voltage here equals current times resistance. What about resist and uh, current? Current equals res voltage over resistance. Then resistance equals voltage over current. Please remember this formula is very important, which is known as a triangular formula, where we you you are able to make each one of these as the subject of the formula you are able to apply this. Remember, the units of voltage is V, current is in amp, or amps, capital A, resistance is in ohms, where we remember Mr. Ohms and his Ohm's law, which is symbolized by this. For example, calculate the amount of current if the conducting the conducting wire has a resistance of 4 ohms And the potential difference across the circuit is 12 volts. So look at the wealth example here. Calculate the amount of current if the conducting wire has a resistance of 4 ohms and the potential difference across the circuit is 12 volts. This is how we trick your mind. We use the language which may be complicated to you. We use the symbols, 4 ohms, this symbol, you don't know it. You say, what is this symbol? And then you use V there, potential difference, you get confused. It's very simple. You begin by collecting the data. What are you given in this question? You have calculated the amount of current. So you know current, which is capital I. We don't know it. They want us to find the amount of current. Then they are saying the resistance. Resistance, which is capital R is what 4 ohms and the potential difference which is PD or watts is 12. Then we say what is then our solution? If we go back to our triangular formula where we say voltage equals current times resistance. What are we solving here? We are solving for current. So we can bring up this here. We say voltage equals current times resistance. Therefore, current equals voltage divided by resistance. And then we say current equals voltage is volts and resistance is 4 ohms. Therefore, current equals 4 into 12 is 3.
If you only write three, the answer is wrong. You should write three arms. Or you can say three arms. This is the answer. Then you hold out the amount of current passing through this conducting wire in a circuit. As long as the temperature of the conducting wire remains constant. This is how we apply Ohm's law. So in conclusion, I'm saying that you have, to, you have to know the symbols of current, resistance, and voltage, and be able to state Ohm's law. Why normally in your exams, we trick you, or we trick your minds using Ohm's law. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to, how to apply Ohm's law on a graph paper. How do we graphically apply Ohm's law and draw the relationship between current and resistance?